I have a WooCommerce product with a regular price and sale price. And as you see, there are sale price dates starting from today until 27th of October. If this has been set up, there is a nice timer here. Sales ends in two days, 14 hours and so on. It works with a simple product, but it also works with a variable product. That is, if I choose this variation, nothing happens. The same with this one here. But since the variation black has a sale price with sale dates, it displays a timer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it up for yourself with a simple code snippet. If you're interested, then let's jump in. Now, first things first, in order to make it work, I'm going to give you a small code. The link to the snippet is in the video description, so be sure to take a look at it. Now, how can you install the snippet? There are two ways. First, you have to install a child theme. And if this is in place, then go to the appearance theme file editor. Take a look at the functions PHP file and add the code here. I don't like this option. I prefer the second option. And that is you're going to go to the plugins, add new plugin, search for code snippets, this one here. Install and activate it. Why do I prefer this one? Is that even if I switch themes from this to that, all the code snippets I have used are in place. That is, if you delete your theme, you will lose the code. But with this plugin, it doesn't happen. Now, when this plugin is activated, you'll see the snippets menu on the left. Click on Add New. Now, give it the title, for example, Sale Price Countdown Timer. But before I proceed, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, that is Kinsta, one of the top dogs in the managed WordPress hosting world. First, Finsta is the highest rated managed WordPress host on G2 and currently it holds an amazing 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. Believe me, that's a big deal. Kinsta is a premium service and it's aimed at businesses that need fast, reliable and secure hosting. Currently, they've also got 37 global data centers, which means you can host your site closer to your visitors. And the closer the data center is to your actual location, the faster your site loads. Pretty cool, right? Next, let's talk about the security. And Kinsta got you covered with auto backups. They have 24-7 site monitoring. And they also integrate with Cloudflare for top-notch protection against attacks like DDoS. Plus, they have a global CDN to keep things running smoothly. Here's another fun fact about Kinsta. That is, Kinsta hosts more than 120,000 live websites. And those are from small businesses to huge enterprises. As you see from the screen, it includes also some big names like TripAdvisor, NASA and so on. So, sure, if you're looking for a reliable, fast and secure hosting, then Kinsta might just be what you need. Next, paste the code here. And once again, the link to the code is in a video description. Now scroll down, choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate, go to the products. Let's open up this product here. Let's add a sale price, for example, 755. Let's schedule it from today until the end of the month. I'm going to update it, view the product and you'll see this is how it looks like. Now, in order to make it a bit fancier, I'm going to go back to the back end, open up appearance, customize. Now open up additional CSS and I'm going to paste a small piece of CSS code here. Now, just to see how does it work, I'm going to open up the product itself. So this one here and paste this part here. As you saw, it changed. Let's publish it, close it down. Refresh the page and done. Just to test whether it works also with a variable products, I'm going to open up the same product I had before. I'm going to refresh it. This one doesn't have a sale price. The same with this one here. But since variation black has a sale price with sale dates, it displays here. Awesome. Nothing complicated here. Now you may wonder what happens when the sale dates are over. Well, let's test it out. I'm going to open up the product. And let's open up the variation with a date. I'm going to change the start date to here and then date for yesterday. Let's update it. View the product. And you'll see that nothing happens. It's just hidden. So you don't have to worry about it. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. 
Now this was only one of the simple WooCommerce hacks I have made, but I have made a separate video about 14 WooCommerce single product hacks. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.